guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be on 8 different ways you can hack your cosplay makeup. Some of the tips and tricks I'll be showing today includes face taping, brow concealing and also to elongate your lip shape. So let's get started! Before we begin, I'm going to start all the way from the top which is to wear our wig cap first. The wig cap I'm using has openings on both ends so that it's really easy for people with long hair to just stuff their hair in, even out their hair to make sure there are no bumps and pin everything down in place without braiding. The first method I'll be showing today is face taping which is really popular for creating a V-shaped jawline among cosplayers. I'm using a medical grade tape from Leucoplast and what I do is to find a point on my jawline area to pull upwards to create a slimmer jawline. I always secure the tape all the way up to my wig cap which is around 15cm to make sure there's enough holding power. Cut out some tape of your desired length and you can experiment around with different points to see which has the best effect. Once you have confirmed the points, stick one end of the tape down and then use the finger to support and lift the skin upwards while pulling the other end. This is to make sure that you get a maximum pulling effect. Do the same for the other side and make sure the starting point and the amount of skin you pull up is the same or you might end up with an uneven jawline. And for good measure, I will secure the taping with another piece of tape across the wig cap. This is to prevent the tape from coming off but it's optional as medical tapes are quite strong by nature. As a word of precaution, never ever attempt to rip out the tape from your skin as you might risk injuring your skin. Use an oil-based makeup remover to slowly remove the adhesive and the tape will come off easily. Medical grade tapes have really strong adhesive and I've accidentally ripped out a chunk of my skin before. So do remember to be careful with it. And remember to use only medical grade tape, no scotch tape, masking tape etc as they are not skin safe and will most likely irritate your skin. Before we move on, I'll be going away to wear my wig and I'll come back like ta da! The next hack will be brow concealing and I'll be using a non-toxic washable glue stick from Yoohoo. There are a lot of better methods out there to achieve this but I find that the glue stick method is the most common and beginner friendly among cosplayers. This method works best on clean skin so it's important to clean the brow area first. To begin, I will apply a layer of glue onto my brows and try to cover every strand. Then with a spoolie, I'll brush the brow in an upward diagonal direction. By doing this instead of gluing in the direction of the hair growth, the thicker parts of the brow will get flattened better and so it will be easier to conceal and result in a smoother surface to work on. Let the glue dry thoroughly and then gently brush along the brow surface to feel which parts require more coverage. For the next 2 to 3 layers, apply the glue in a diagonal direction and you can always use a finger immediately to help flatten the brows better before the glue dries. A tip to good brow concealing is to fill the surface area after each layer dries. This way you'll be able to tell if you have missed a spot that requires more coverage or if the surface is still not quite smooth. My brows require around 3 to 4 layers for them to be fully smooth and covered. The brow surface should be totally smooth before concealing to get the best results and the glue should not be sticky when it's dried so no powder is required yet. The best type of concealer for brows is cream type as it provides the highest coverage and I really recommend using Creolin's Dermacolor Camouflage Cream. Use a concealer brush and pack generous amounts of concealer onto the brow and also remember to always use a dabbing motion to prevent destroying the glue layer underneath. Try to dab an even layer over where the glue is, then gently feather out the edges before blending it into the skin. Once it's done, remember to set generously with powder. Your brows should be on flick eye me nicely concealed, then it's ready for drawing or to do though if you prefer. <laughs> 
I used some purple eyeshadow and an angled brush to draw on the new brows. The next hack is to change your brow color and this method is really easy and great for those who prefer to not use glue or just need to color their brows with eyeshadow. I'm using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to create a white base on my brows first. Lightly go over the brows till only the hairs are covered in white. Once they're done, brush through eyebrows with a spoolie to coat the brows evenly and use a Q-tip to clean up around the brow. NYX Jumbo Pencils are grease-based so they cling onto eyebrows better than concealer and eyeshadows will also be very pigmented which makes it one of my favourite cosplay makeup hacks. The next hack is face highlight and contour, which is the most common but overlooked when it comes to cosplay makeup. The difference highlight and contour can make is really big as it can brighten and make you look more sculpted in photos. There are different ways to do highlight and contour and my favourite is to do it with powder instead of cream. Crayolan Cake Makeup is a powder foundation so it gives extra coverage and helps makeup look really flawless on photos. First is to highlight the areas to bring out, which is the T-zone, the triangle under the eyes, and the chin. I'll apply the highlight on one side only to show the before and after comparison. Load brush with powder and highlight the face with patting motion to allow the foundation to last longer. Highlighting is really useful for brightening areas like the under eye area and it makes it look less dull. To contour the face, I'll be using a dark foundation powder with neutral undertones to shade diagonally on my jawline. By doing this, the contouring will create a natural shadow effect when the wig falls onto the sides. The next hack is the less common concealing of original lower lash line to draw a new one. One common trick to bigger eyes is to widen the distance between the waterline and the lower lash line. But if you have thick bottom lashes, it'll look quite funny to have two lower lash lines. So I prefer using a cream concealer to conceal my natural lash line, then set it thoroughly with powder before drawing a new one. This also makes it more natural looking compared to using white eyeliner. I also used thin pen eyeliner to draw the new lash line and apply lower lashes. The next hack is lip concealing, which is not to use concealer but foundation to conceal as it is less drying. Always moisturize your lips well before using heavy duty makeup to protect your lips. I'm using Nivea's Watering Lip Avocado Balm and apply a generous layer on my lips, then gently block off excess with a piece of tissue. Foundations also tend to provide a better skin color compared to some concealers that might create a grey cast which can make you look sickly and that's not so attractive. Once that is done, I set the foundation with some compact powder in my skin tone to match my face. The next hack is to elongate the edges of your lips. This is really popular among cosplayers for creating a more anime lip shape. To create this look, I'm using my all-time favourite Kamek Mixed Eyebrow Palette in Natural Brown. If you're using eyeshadow, remember to pick a neutral brown shade as it creates the most natural looking shadow effect. I'm creating a two-tone contour with light and dark brown shade for a realistic depth and I'll use the lighter brown shade to create a small wing that's connected to the outer corner of my lips. Blend it up to the sides of your inner lips to make it look like it's a natural lip shadow. Repeat with the dark brown shade and you can also use a little concealer to blend it out if it's too harsh. Depending on the type of character you are cosplaying, you can wing it downwards for a serious look or you can curve it upwards for feminine or cute characters. And 
And the very last hack of all is really important, which is to always glue the sides and fringe of your wig to your face. This makes the wig look more natural and it will stay in its place throughout the day. After styling your wig, set the shape in place with hairspray first. I always use star lash glue as it is stronger, waterproof and less prone to coming off from sweat compared to latex based glues. Then spread a thin layer of glue on where you need to stick the wig to your face and it's a little bit like applying false lashes, you have to wait for the glue to dry slightly before pressing the wig onto your face. If your wig is thick, it's always a good idea to apply a larger surface of glue, then spread out the wig fibers evenly so that it will stick better. And we are done! If you like this video, remember to share it with all of your cosplay friends so they can up their cosplay makeup game too! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.